Why hello tube. This book was so garbage it broke my tripod. Just kidding. Venus and Fur <laughs> Venus and Furs by Ritter von Leopold Sacher Massach. Um, Leopold, he was born January 27th, 1836 in Lviv, Ukraine. Um and died March 9th, 1895, in Lindheim, Germany. This was published in 1870. Um, it wasn't Ukraine back then. It was like the Kingdom of Austria or some something. Uh, but it was written in German, and as you know, it was written in German. I think that's right. As you know, it's my year of German lit, so I thought this would be a perfect uh, Garb August book because what is it about, if you don't know? It's about um, Dominatrix, um, the, actually the the M and S and M or BDSM or whatever, masochist, it was named after this guy who kind of seems to uh, be the founding father of this and venus and furs um this is the edition that i read it's like it costs like a whole whopping 75 cents on kindle this is a gutenberg edition or something at least it says uh um uh book is part of project gutenberg um so you could download it for free if you wanted to I paid the 75 cents out of pure um, ease, laziness. <laughs> and this book, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it garbage, even though I read it for Garb August. But the week one, I'm late on this, the week one prompt was gratuitous sex or violence. And I figured this would fit the bill for the gratuitous sex part. Even this book is not... Um, it, I'm sure it was very risque for the time it was published in 1870, um, but by today's standards, I mean, a kid's cartoon is more risque. And, um, well, maybe not, but, you know, I imagine, I've never read it, but I imagine like Fifty Shades of Grey is probably a lot more risque, um, than this, because most of this, it, um... You kind of you have to kind of use your imagination to fill in the blanks. So this book can be as graphic as you want it to be. It can be super graphic or not so graphic, depending on, I guess, your imagination. Like the worst that it gets to is like he kisses, kiss all over her face and breasts and or something like that, you know. Um, but it doesn't have like any like it doesn't go into any like the sex scenes or anything um it does the 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 more graphic parts are dedicated to the um like him getting tied up and getting whipped and um just the abuse that he suffered by the hands of venus and it's very it feels very maybe mm, Say it feels very Kafka esque, but of course this, you know, this is forty, fifty years before Kafka, um, so maybe Kafka is a masochist. Okay, that kind of works, but it has that kind of Kafka esque feel where <laughs> this this guy. He, gets himself in these kind of almost humorous positions. Um, the people around him, you know, are kind of bringing him down. Um, you kind of actually hope for him to get beat and kind of hope for the, the bad stuff to happen to him. Although that sounds really weird. You're kind of actually cheering for it. Not, not because you don't like the guy. It's just... I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. This this book is kind of, it's odd. It's odd. Very much odd. But it, it 
has a feeling of reading, which I, I say Kafka S. I've only read um, America and um, and uh, the the story just went out of my mind. Uh, the Metamorphosis, and in fact, the guy is like slave name is Gregor, which I believe was the the beetle man's uh name in um in the metamorphosis i don't know if there's kind of an ode to leopold masik um or if that was just coinky dink but i i really think that if you are a fan of kafka and you have not read this that it's worth reading just because of the similarities in style and uh storytelling and I, I think you you would really enjoy, even if you're not into, um, even if you, even if you, even if the subject matter of this book uh, concerns you, I, I don't think it'd be an issue. It's it, it's it's as tastefully done as it possibly could be, and by no means is the writing style or any part of this book actually garbage. It's actually very well written um, even the translation like the translation was great it was fluid it, it felt like it's that's how it was written and I, I can't read german so i can't really compare it to the original um but it didn't feel like a translation at all sort of like how uh kafka's america um that the those newer translations are really very kind of nice so so, you know, the one, spoiler alert, okay, spoiler alert, the part of the book I don't like, I can't stand the ending, and it has a cheesy, um, happy ending that was such a letdown, because I was really hoping it'd go out with a bang that, um, that he'd end up getting killed, or him killing her, or, you know, some sort of crime of passion. But it was, I'm not going to say what the ending was, but just beware that the ending is a huge letdown because it, you really, you really wanted, like, I at least really wanted a horrible, <laughs> that sounds bad. It sounds bad, but it's true. I really wanted a horrible ending. And um, it was like a, corny hallmark movie sort of happy ending so that, that part of it was a little bit of a letdown but overall it was actually a really fun story so uh venus and venus and furs let me know down below um have you read it did you like it did you not like it uh venus maybe i should uh describe the title venus being the woman the dominatrix and the in furs is basically when she was in her furs um slave boy knew he was in trouble so uh that's it for this one peeps cheers <laughs>